Hi, I'm Peter from Lutra Consulting and today we will be talking about merging maps and PostGIS connection called DBSync. So, merging maps can be of course used for field data collection and for use of your data in QGIS and transfer of the data, but there are many tools that use API of merging maps cloud. For example, Python and C++ client, DBSync, connection to Postgres, today topic, store and re referencing your photos in S3 buckets, media sync, and also work packages splitting your data to multiple teams. All that can be connected through Merging Maps Cloud. So all these tools can be found uh, on GitHub in Merging Maps repository, and they are open sourced. You can use them on all on-premises installations or when you have team subscription or during your trial period. So typical setup with DBSync is that you have cloud team subscription, you have many servers in a team that are doing field work, then you have some power users in, a in the office that are using QGIS, and you have some PostGIS database connected, for example, for QGIS server or GIS server. And we'll see how you can use DBSync to connect your workspace on the cloud to PostGIS. Merging Maps is based on geo packages, which is local SQLite 3 database. And DBSync synchronizes this database with Postgres schema. The, ta the same tables will have the same features across both sources. So let's try it out. I will go through quick start guide. You can check the link or uh, scan the QR code to see. So, first of all, I will try it on my local computer, which has a Docker installed. I have Merging Maps Team workspace, and I have QGIS installed with Merging Maps plugin, and I have PG Admin 4. So, let's go into it. First of all, I need to start and set up Postgres container. I will use Docker for convenience and uh, start the container, create database, and import some data which are present on as a sample data on DBSync project. So let's see. So first of all, let's see, let's download the sample data. Then I will create a container with PostGIS. Okay, it runs. Now I create a database DBSync, following my creation extension of PostGIS. Okay, I did it too fast, so let's try again. Okay, now it works. And finally, import the data. Data is there, but let's open PG Admin and see if we can browse and see the data in PG Admin. So we need to register a new server. We give it some reasonable name. Okay, DB Sync Demo, DB. All right, in the connection tab, we set up localhost. And last thing we need to find out is password. Okay, for that, let's go back to the terminal and find the password. There it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is in Postgres password environment variable, so let's copy it and put it here. Okay, save. And now we should see the database. Okay, it's there. There is a dbsync database. And let's check the schemas. There is a sync data schema that was populated. It has a table with PostGIS geometry. And let's see if we have some points there. It's called points, the table. And if we view the data, it's called, yeah, we have three cities there with their geometry and some integer variable. Very good. So next step is to modify config YAML file. So the config YAML file is again on dbsync in quick guide. And you can either start with populated geo package and sync the data to, to database, or you can start for populated database as we are doing now and convert it to the geo package. Uh, on the right side, you see my example config for this demo. You see my username, password, your schema, and the merging project, which will be used. All right, now let's set up a project and start dbsync a container that will check every 10 seconds the changes between two sources, Cloud and Postgres. We need to create a blank project and then just run the uh, Docker container with merging dbsync 
with this config file. So, okay, let's f see the video. All right. So here uh, we create a new project in my workspace Peter Patrick. It needs to be same as it is in config, and you we see it's empty. Now let's double check the config file so it has the all setup. Most importantly, the the merging project is correctly set up. The password, username, and connection info for our database. All right, now just start the daemon and the daemon finds out the database, connects, create a geo package with the same structure and also import three, three points there. And then every 10 seconds checks the changes either on Postgres, Postgres site or cloud. And if there are any changes, we'll synchronize in both ways. Now, when we sync it, we see there is data geo package file already there. Great. So now we need to set up QGIS project and test it. Okay, we will open QGIS, download the geo package created, and it's just single geo package. And we need to make some QGIS project, style it, and then sync it back and see if we can see the changes in the PG admin in the database. Okay, let's start it so so we will we will download the project to the folder on the disk great we will not open it because we need to create a new QGIS project it's just data so we need to save the QGIS project file to the same folder next to the data and now we need to drag and drop the data file in geo package to the to the canvas All right it's there as a new layer you can zoom we see our three points and normally you will need to add background maps you can check the merging maps documentation how to do it but for this test we just use the one geo package the vector layer we synchronize the changes to cloud and this push the QGIS project file to the cloud we can check it on the web that it's there okay refresh and you see the project is there with and you can also see the history now let's try to add some points to the stream so let's add two points one point second point and save very good okay now synchronize the project back you see we have two inserts and now we need to quickly switch to, to the terminal to see if db sync will find change ah all right on the next iteration it found out that on the cloud there are new data and it synchronized the two new points and now if we refresh database we see there are two new points we create it on the so what happened what happened uh let me find the right slide right so we been able to modify project in QGIS and we pushed the data to server and db sync automatically picked the new data and passed it to the postgis it works both ways you can start for existing Postgres or Geo packages. It's, it's both direction and also handles concurrent commits. And it's available in team subscription on the cloud. And it's great for connecting your merging maps, workspace to rest of your Geo infrastructure. It can be run on your existing clusters or locally on, on your servers. Where, if you need help, okay, you can join our community chat where we developers or community members can help you or you can ask Lutra Consulting or other local partners for help with the setup or commercial support. The best information you can find out on MergingMaps.com support. Thank you very much for your attention and enjoy working with MergingMaps and Postgres and rest of the open source GIS infrastructure.